sure I need the dress code, but I think I like the smoking pots. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat me? Are we friends? Well, I think so. You certainly see me naked. You want to sit down? You want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. But listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about me. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do? Stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. Thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he calls you, You'll do 15 years, and you'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. There's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. Yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, call me when you get there. You might have something to help you. Good. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing, sir. Why are you doing this? I told you, I was good for a bit.
Speech or something? Come on! Johnny. Hey. Hey. We had fun here. Yeah, we did. It's over. Yeah, it is. How the fuck did that happen? You know how it happens. It's that fucked up part of people. The dream of good is never good enough. If it wasn't enough, we had to be drug dealers. We also had to be outlaws, to be maniacs, to be psychos, and to be greedy. Well, with that combination of greed and fucked up stupidity, that worked well. In the government, not so good if you're a fucking crook. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Go ahead. Let's put this place out of its misery. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Come on, man, let's get out. 